Hello everyone, today is April 16th, and on this day in 1943, the Swiss chemist Albert Hoffman accidentally consumes LSD-25, or, to put it in layman's terms, lysergic acid dithylamide. This was a synthetic drug that he had created in 1938 while researching the medicinal value of lysergic acid compounds. Shortly after he spilled it on himself, he took off on his bike and went home to lay down and sank into a trance that he described as not unpleasant intoxicated like state, where he saw streams of fantastic pictures and shapes with intense colors. He later took it again, just to make sure, and quickly announced to the world the discovery of acid. Widespread use didn't begin until the 60s, when it exploded along with the counterculture movement. But in 1965, the U.S. government crashed the party and made acid illegal. Although you can still find some if you go to any rock concert and find the guy with no clothes on. On April 16, 1947, multimillionaire and financier Bernard Barrick coins the term Cold War during a speech at the South Carolina House of Representatives. He said, Let us not be deceived. We are today in the midst of a Cold War. Our enemies are to be found abroad and at home. Let us never forget this. Our unrest is the heart of their success. The peace of the world is the hope and the goal of our political system. It is the despair and defeat of those who stand against us. We can depend only on ourselves. His choice of words is still used today to describe U.S. relations with the Soviet Union before its collapse in 1991. In 1972, two giant pandas named Ling Ling and Sing Sing are given to the United States as a gift from the government of China. The gift followed President Richard Nixon's historic visit earlier in the year, and they arrived at the National Zoo in Washington on April 16th and attracted millions of visitors for many years. In return, the U.S. government sent China a pair of musk oxen. And finally, in 1987, the U.S. Patent Office began allowing the patenting of new animals created through genetic engineering. This vastly broadened the scope of patentable animal life to include not just microorganisms, but all non-naturally occurring, non-human, multicellular living organisms, including animals. Some have argued that this makes a patented animal's legal status the same as a car or a tennis ball. And in the two decades since the first mice were patented, Hundreds of other genetically modified animals have been too. Frogs and dogs, cats, cows, and more. And even though human beings are not patentable, aspects of human biology can and have been patented. Human tissues, organs, and cells have all been patented, and a significant number of genes that make up the human genome have already been patented too. Meaning that it won't be too long before pharmaceutical companies literally own the human race. Well, that's it for today, but be sure to stop by tomorrow for more on this day in history.